she's my friend, Merci Catherine. She's 50 years old. She's very nice. And uh, she has a low syndrome. And uh, within that syndrome, she has very short stature and she has obesity. Okay. The patients have growth hormone receptor deficiency, also called our own syndrome. 115.6 means 45.5 inches. In the world, there's approximately 350, a little bit more. And in here in Ecuador, if we count the people that have died, and we have some names, it's about 130. I think there are about 100 still alive. They are an amazing model of humans that have a mutation that knocks their growth hormone receptor. This uh, group is very interesting to us because the really the, the human version of what the research of many groups has shown in simple organisms, right? So first the dwarf yeast and then the, the dwarf mice showing record longevity and not just longevity but record protection in simple organisms. You have this high protection against everything, including DNA damage. They have a mutation in the growth hormone receptor that makes this receptor no longer functional. They're stuck in a, uh, I'm not fully developed yet mode. Hola. Or I'm not fully ready to be growing and aging at the normal speed. I have to focus on maintaining everything until times change. Of course, times will never change because this growth hormone mutation never change. So then the end result is that they're protected against diseases. Diabetes is one, cancer is another one. Here's Yannick, his father Nelto. He's an 18-year-old person with Down syndrome. He has a scholarship that we got it in the University of San Francisco de Quito, and he wants to study engineering. He's in perfect health, and despite the fact that he's 18, he looks younger because his sexual development, as in Laron syndrome, is delayed. He has a, a good five, six years of delay, so that still makes it a candidate to receive a G1 if I could get a drug. Bruno is a great character. He's a five-year-old guy with a, with lots of personality. You can see that these two guys are, are super and they love each other very much. They are uh, not only brothers. They are brothers in tragedy, actually. <laughs> I have seen many times Yannick crying. He knows that, that his brother still doesn't know what is waiting for him. It's a, it's, a, it's a moral pain of being different. Even though in this town, they are very loved. 